comes to people um, who may be broken, there are people out there who are broken and don't even know it. They're the type of people who are constantly pointing the finger. They're never able to look in the mirror and fix themselves, you know? And because of that, they have a hard time being able to get into functional relationships. They don't get along with family members, you know? They, their friends, they fall out with their friends all the time. They fall out with their friends all the time. And they refuse to take accountability. They refuse to take accountability. And because of that, because they refuse to take accountability, they, they're never able to get into functional relationships. They're always making bad decisions, but want to point the finger, you know? So all you can do, let's say that you have family members who come to you and want advice. They're always coming to you for advice, but they never listen to the advice. Usually they don't listen to that advice because accountability is in that advice. And because accountability is in that advice, they're not gonna wanna listen. They're not gonna want to internalize what you're saying because they don't feel like nothing is wrong with them. They don't feel like nothing is wrong with them. They feel like everybody else are the ones with the problems. So you cannot spend your life trying to help other people. You cannot spend your life trying to fix everybody else. All you can do is worry about yourself. You can give people advice. If they choose to follow that advice, they're taking those necessary steps to, you know, build themselves up and heal. But if you give people advice all the time and they're not utilizing that advice, they're still making the same decisions that, that is getting them into a deeper and deeper hole, you can't fix those people. I think a lot of us has been in that point to where we're giving people good advice, but they're not following it. We're telling them, you know, be accountable for the things you say and do, but it's like, they don't necessarily want to follow that road. You know, they want to do their own thing. They'll listen to us because they want us to, to, I bet, well, I think one of the reasons people come to you for advice is because they don't want to have to make the decisions on their own. You know, they make a decision, they'll say, well, this person told me how to do this. They told me how to do that. There's no account, there's no accountability there. You know, if something works, they'll take the credit for it. If it doesn't work, they'll say, this person gave me bad advice. You know, they, they're not listening to me. They don't like me, but no, it's, it's all about you trying to fix you. You can only fix you. You see, when I make videos, I'm giving y'all that information, that advice to help you. The things that have helped me, I'm hoping can help you. So never feel like it's your job to fix other people. If they show signs of not improving, just leave them alone. Let them fail. Don't waste your time in your life trying to fix people who don't want to fix themselves. You got people in relationships. A relationship that relationship that can be abusive, but they will still stay with that person because they don't want to be alone. They don't want to be single. They don't want to be on the dating market, so they put up with the abuse. They put up with the, you know, uh, the dysfunctional nature of it. but then get mad at other people when people are critical of it. We see that you're in something that is dysfunctional. We're giving you advice to help you. See, if those people don't wanna leave that situation, all you can do is speak your peace and move on. There's nothing you can do to change their mind. Once these people make up their minds, that's it, it's a wrap, it's over. Understand that. That's one of the main things I have learned over the last couple of years. Let people do what they're going to do. Do not 
stress and strain over other people's decisions. If they want to stay in dysfunctional relationships, if they want to continue to lose in life, let them do it. Let them do it. I don't care if they're family. I don't care if they're friends. Let them make their own choices. And if they're choosing to do better, then what you're saying to that person could be helping. Maybe they're taking your advice into consideration, you know? But you're going to have people who are going to not listen because they think they know everything. And because they think they know everything, they're not going to listen to you. When they really should. You see, this day and age, we have a lot of people who think they know, but they don't. You got a lot of people who are going in directions that is not beneficial to them. This is why you got so many people looking for leaders. You got grown adults who have children. Some of these people got grandchildren looking for a leader because they don't know how to make rational decisions on their own because they're very emotional. And they don't trust their own decisions, so they go and they listen to other people. But are they learning from those people? Are they fixing their life? Are they fixing their life? Or are they just pretending? Are they just putting on a, a facade? You know? Because I, I guarantee you, you're stressing over somebody's life. They're not stressing over you. They're not courteous to you. They don't care what you got going on. One of my pet peeves is when people call me out the blue instead of letting texting me and letting me know they're going to call. Being courteous. Because they don't respect your time. And then when you don't answer the phone, they think you got the problem. No, you're not listening to me. It's all about listening and, and understanding what I'm saying. And some people have a habit of not knowing how to respect people's space and listen. That's why their, their situation is so messed up. People walking around confused, don't even know how to, to, to uh, manage their own life. Relationships are dysfunctional. They're with people that they don't like, but they don't want to be alone. We have to always take a, a, a self uh, analysis, you know? We can't always seek to. We can't always seek to mask everything, you know? There's too many people out here with masks anyway. There's too many people out here. Who are trying to portray themselves as something that they're not. You got dudes who try to portray themselves as successful and rich, and you got women who try to portray themselves as feminine, submissive women. But in reality, that's not who they are. Not by a long shot. But it's all about the mask that they're putting on. It's a mask. And they're willing to put that mask on if it's going to get them some attention or it's going to get them, you know, uh, fake friends. You know, last thing we need in life is more fake friends. We got a lot of fake friends out here. I've had a, a few fake friends, you know. So always, you know, check yourself. Look in the mirror before you go out here and put these masks on. Portray yourself as something that you're, not, that you're not. We all get to a point to where we have to realize, we're not realize, we have to really focus, on, focus in and zero in on who we are as a people. Because we got too many people who have no identity. And because they have no identity, they go and try to pretend to be other people. And then wonder why they can't get their life together. 
because you're trying to be somebody else. You're not being authentic to who you are. Do you think a woman wants a guy who's not authentic, who's not real, who doesn't handle his business, who's not intelligent? Now, you got some women who accept dating dusty, dysfunctional dudes. But those females usually find out the hard way that those guys have no loyalty. And they really are not going to put any type of ring on your finger. You're not going to get You're not going to get the the type of life you think you're going to have. Probably because you were terrible at choosing the men that you've been with, you know, for so long, you know. You see, I'm the type of person, I am stubborn. I'm not going to lie. I'm stubborn on things, but I'm only, but I think I'm mostly stubborn on, on things that I feel on decisions I think I've made for the right reasons, you know, for that has benefited me. Now, I am able to listen if people want to give me light and advice on, you know, how to fix certain things or stuff that I should buy, um, referring me to certain things, like I have no problem listening to that. If people say, you know what, they, you, you sh- there's certain things you say or certain things that you do that isn't beneficial to your platform, I'm willing to listen to that too. You know, I'm willing to listen. You know. I'm willing to make those changes if I feel like it's going to benefit me in the long run. And I have. I have made changes. I've made changes to my platform. Some people may like it. Some people may not. But at the end of the day, it's my platform. And I made those changes for a reason. Some of you may not like it, but that's just life. Things change. You know, people adjust to the way things are. In some point, you're gonna have to accept that. Not everybody's gonna stay in the same spot. People are going to adjust, people are going to move. And as an individual, you should understand that. Because I know I do.